Ladies Morality. Western author has suggested you worship God as much as you like other people. Given that criteria, it can be said that Imam Khomeini was a great pious man who loved all people and cared about their fates. As some of his close friends and followers reported, Imam Khomeini enjoyed the following characteristics: purity, patience, forbearance, and tolerance, courage. A trust in God, a love for all people, religious enthusiasm, austerity, abidance with law and religion, resoluteness, and kindness. He always made a distinction between his private life and public position. He never complained or let anybody defend him during the Islamic movement. During his leadership, he never complained to anyone, and no one was harassed for disturbing him. He did not care about the mortal world and earthly pleasures. During his leadership, he did not impose anything to the treasury, and lived as simply as ordinary people did. He never let his relatives take advantage of his position. He did not declare anything that he himself did not practice. He was a truly brave man, even on the night when the regime's agents took him into exile. He said about the night he was arrested. I was not afraid at all. The night, however, the agents were very fearful, and I reassured them. He showed his humbleness when he said that a murdered 13-year-old boy was the true leader. Among his resoluteness, he had a sense of humor and accepted the truth very easily. He was humble in confessing his mistakes, as he mentioned in his political testament. He always gave priority to the expedience of the political system. He possessed little property, and what he did own, he distributed among the poor. His simple words were very effective, and he expressed the most important messages in uncomplicated terms. He paid careful attention to his religious duties and practices. And political affairs did not prevent him from observing his religious and mystical prayers. Nothing could make him upset and angry, except violations of religious commandments. His decision about Salman Rushdie showed his religious perseverance. He had very good relations with young people and children, even when he was old. In his private life, he respected his wife very much, as he respected all women. He was as humble to the nation as he was determined and tough towards the superpowers. He furthermore advised all statesmen of the Islamic State to serve the nation honestly and live simply. Contrary to the fact that suspicion is prevalent among politicians, he was an optimistic leader and never let bad thoughts influence his outlook on existence and people. For this reason, he went to his God with a calm mind, a confident heart, a hopeful conscience, and a happy spirit. It is the God he loved throughout his life, and for whose sake he tolerated many difficulties, and he was highly eager to meet with his God. <laughs>